fair. I'm not the culprit. Yeah, I totally agree. I only carried the case. Yep, yep, that's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. Mm-hmm, another true statement. And that's all! I didn't do anything else in the hangar! 100% exact, Amundo! Why does this all sound so fishy? Ah, Kokichi won't shut up! Get out of my head, Kokichi! To hit Kaido with a crossbow, you'd have to be fairly good with it. Could Himiko have done that? That is the question. I'm not the culprit! Yeah, I totally agree. Okay, that is okay. Hold on a second. There's no doubt, whoever whatsoever, that Himiko carried the case. Unless you don't trust my optics. Is there more robophobia? Damn it! I'm dead. Oh. Yeah, I totally agree. Because it was disassembled. Yep, yep, that's true too. And I didn't even use the crossbow. Brother. Oh my lord, my aim is terrible. This is literally why I have to edit these. It's because I can't aim. Like, what? I probably have the correct piece of evidence, but because I can't aim, I can't progress this dang trial. No, oh, I didn't get it wrong. I didn't have it right. Right, that's right. I didn't need the I, I didn't need a crossbow because I have my magic. That's not an excuse. We won't be convinced without any tangible evidence. I was wrong. Ooh, I was wrong. Good, good, good. Is the crossbow I'm itself the, the evidence? Again. Yeah, I told you. Yep, yep. That's true too. Because she was never taught. I didn't even use the crossbow. There it is. I agree. I don't think Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Couldn't use it? Why not? The crossbow inside this case was disassembled. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Well, what if Maki taught Himiko how to assemble the crossbow? He didn't teach me that, right Maki? What's wrong? Are you mad about before? Sorry, I thought they were gonna suspect me, so I lied. I really have to question your morals if you're blaming Maki for your lie, Himiko. I don't think you're allowed to say something like that. <laughs> True. I'm sorry, Maki. Please, can you tell them the truth? Fine. I'm not going to lie. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See? I told you! It's just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now! She changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash now. <laughs> maybe, maybe just a little bit. Then, why did you bring the crossbow to the hangar, Himiko? I was asked to. Upon Kaido's request. Asked to. Perhaps the person who asked was... That's it! Well, of course. Was it Kaito? Huh? Kaito? Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. No, she definitely would not. Of course not. 
Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. Nah, -uh. I hate you. But I like you. Hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. <laughs> but to think that Kaido asked Himiko to do that. Maybe Kaido is trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. Don't worry. I'll do something about all of this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. But why were you keeping that a secret, Himiko? Well, Kaito sort of asked me to keep it a secret. Then Kaito died, and I got scared. I thought it was going to be next. You're the worst for trying to pin the blame on Maki just for that reason. Maki, teach this dumb monkey the true terror of human beings. Don't bully the person you like. This is way beyond bullying a grade school crush. Himiko, when exactly did Kaito ask you to do this? Um, I think it was around evening yesterday. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi. I couldn't get to sleep. So I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little. <laughs> and then he asked me to get him a crossbow. Oh, here we go. Um, that one part was a... Uh, you know what? Never mind. So if Kaito asked for a crossbow, does that mean he was going to kill Kokichi? No, he said it was to disable Kokichi. I wouldn't have helped him otherwise. I trusted Kaito and took a crossbow from Maki's lab. That's when I witnessed Himiko. But then what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow then went right back to the dorm. I believe her. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returns fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. And there's proof of that. This is it! Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes on the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. So Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? And it was Kaito who shot him, right? Hmm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? There is no doubt that they shot each other with the crossbow, but... It doesn't matter. Huh? It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Maki's been acting strangely. But why? Does she know something? If so, what does she know? Maybe Maki's right. It doesn't matter what happened in the middle. And in the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. You sure about that? Huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really think about things. After all, there should be some mysteries that still matter. For example, is Kokichi really inside that Exosaw? Stuff like that. What? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive since the killing game's still going. His voice is even coming from the Exosol and everything. But we heard it speak in Kaito's voice earlier. 
didn't we? Yeah, don't rely on that. After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. It what? Ha! Because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more! Sorry for the wait, guys! The Luminary of the Stars has arrived! This time for real! Oh, this is where it's gonna frickin' frick me up now, isn't it? Because it could be it could be somebody like entirely different. And this is where the, what? them both What's going on? This is where them both being dead. And here's here's the weird possibility. This is where them both being dead and Ryoma or not Ryoma, um Oh fuck, what's his name? What the fuck is his name? The first person to die, Rantaro. Like Rantaro could be in there. We don't know. I told you, I'm Kaito. I was just pretending to be Kokichi, is all. There's a bit of a situation going on, so I didn't really have a choice. Sorry about tricking you guys like that. My bad. Huh? So Kaito's in there after all? Don't be stupid. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? That's Kokichi pretending to be Kaito. Hey now, Maki Roll. Don't you believe me? Don't ever call me that! Whoa there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this Exosol. Is that so? But if you guys don't believe me, then we can't move on. So, you're up, Shuichi. What? Me? Explain to everyone how I wasn't the one that died. Kaido is alive after all. No, maybe that's just what I want to believe. But is it really true? What story does the evidence tell? Does that story end with Kaido or Kokichi being the victim? I need to give a well-reasoned answer to that question, and soon. I can't look away from the truth. The victim of the case... I can't... Oh, I can't look away from the truth. Uh-oh. Okay, so it's not... It, Okay. I'm trying. I really am. But I can't think of any other anyone other than Kaido. Most of the evidence we have points to Kaido. Hey, what's the matter, Shuichi? Just hurry up and tell everyone why I'm not dead. Should be easy. No, I won't. Because you're not Kaito. Kaito is already dead. This Good, good. This is already more entertaining. Now, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own Morphinomal Split decision. Rounds. All right. Let's give it everything we've got. Is it going to be everyone against the Exosol? It must be, right? Which one is dead? Oh, shoot. It's only Maki and myself fighting against the other four. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. But he said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. I've got this. Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? I've got this. Unless he comes out of the Exosol, oh. we can't confirm that. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's shirt. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated the mastermind, but... Why are you so opposed 
to Kaito being alive. I want to believe that Kaido is alive too, but this video, the video is definitive, and we have nothing to counter it. Damn that Exosol! Why would he could he, or why would he confuse us like this? I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. But he said that he can't leave the Exosol because he's injured. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed? At Maki, did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole. I got this. Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe Kaito is still alive and defeated. Maki. The mastermind is still alive inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to Kaito being alive? I got this because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. Kaito is dead. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got this. Unless he comes out of the Exosol, we can't confirm that. But he said that he can't leave the Exosol. Maki! Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. Is it possible that Kokichi... Maki! Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow... I got this! Kaito's clothes had arrow holes too. I want to believe... Maki! The mastermind is still alive. Inside that Exosol. Why are you so opposed to... I got this! Because the evidence doesn't support the claim that Kaito is still alive. The full counter is only mocking myself. The only two people that are Max. That's funny. I don't want to believe it. In a way, I still can't. But the evidence, the evidence shows that Kaito must be the one who died. I hate it. I hate it so much. But it's the truth. I see. If that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is... <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Sorry, that was just a little joke. What a sick joke! You're still an asshole. True, and I can't forgive him. <laughs> I still need to stay calm, be rational. Because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah! Just keep calm and carry on! Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Getting back on topic, why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight, so we don't fall for any more lies. I agree, but... What do you think, Maki? Fine. Okay, let's discuss that then. Why are you acting like you're in charge of things? So if we assume that Kaito and I shot each other with the crossbow, then the most efficient way to solve this is to set up a timeline of events. Hey, I said, why are you... Alrighty then! Let the debate begin! Uh, when the crossbow fired, what was even going on? This is where I might die. If you need to ask, you were there! The crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too! Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. I secretly brought a different one! But only one crossbow was taken. The other two are still in my research lab. Still, only one arrow was fired. So how could they both shoot each other? There was not only one. Only one arrow was fired. That's wrong. Three of them were, and we saw we saw all three of the holes anyway. Wait, Himiko, what do you mean one arrow? Well, I only gave Kaito one arrow, so. What? Are you positive? Of course. There's no way I got.
got that wrong. Well then, that's strange, because... There were three arrows in the bathroom, remember? Three? I know I only gave him one! Kaito even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. There were three arrows at the scene, but Himiko said she only brought one. What's going on here? Um, maybe Kokichi had some hidden away? Why would Kokichi have two arrows when he didn't have a crossbow to fire them? But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. And all together, their clothes had three perforations in them. Yep. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. Then where did the arrows come from? I don't think Himiko is lying, but there must be some form of angle that we haven't considered yet. What is it? What could have happened? Think. I need to think. Psyche Taxi. Oh, three phases. Okay. One. I, I'm going to agree with Himiko. Also, these four choices? Oh, boy. There's going to be a lot more of these together, isn't it? Well, all the arrows are inside the hangar from the start. Let's say no. Who brought the two arrows? Oh! A third party? Could it be? That the additional arrows were brought in by a third party? A third party? So someone besides Kokichi or Himiko? That's just a guess, though. There's no way a third party exists. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaido was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Yeah, that's right. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an electric barrier around the hangar. Yeah. That hangar should have been completely closed off, right? It was completely closed off. But can we confirm that? I feel like there might be some other way. Some way that we haven't figured out yet. I'm overlooking something. Think. What mention or what method did the third party use to enter the hangar? Oh shoot. The window? Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, wait. The access all. Because the access all doesn't trip the hangar. And 
only one other person knew that. That's it. The Exosaw. The Exosaw could be used to enter the hangar. We couldn't get in because of the alarm system and the electric barrier. But that shouldn't have been a problem for any of the Exosaws, right? Wait, and only Kibo knows so if that. You wanted to enter the hangar, all you had to do was pilot an Exosaw. What? No way. I saw an Exosol enter the hangar last night. So was this third party piloting it? Possibly. Way, I just want to confirm something with Monokuma. Would the alarm still go off if there was a person inside an Exosol? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an exosol. After all, the hangar is where the exosols are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know? So even if someone is inside an exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Okay. Because it'd be a hassle to leave the exosol every time you have to put it away. So it's like Shuichi said, a third party got in an exosol and entered the hangar? But can just anyone pilot an exosol? Well, Kokichi? It's surprisingly easy. If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> what the heck, Kokichi? Nipples too! Anyway, this third party commandeered an exosol and infiltrated the hangar. That same person must have brought the other two arrows with them. I told you, that's impossible. There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an Exosol. It's not possible. What? Not possible? Maki, what are you talking about? What are you thinking? What do you know? Why are you trying to hide it? Why? Why won't you tell me? If someone was piloting the Exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the Exosol really that difficult? Do we even know how to get inside an Exosol? Outside the hangar, there were four exosols. And they were all moving, too. I was controlling them remotely. The electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharged. That's wrong! Wait, not all of the electro hammers were being charged. I know because I found one. There was a used electro hammer near Monokuma and the Exosols. Is that electro hammer used by the third party? Maybe they used it to disable an Exosol. Yes, I think so. When I saw them last afternoon, there were four Exosols. But then there was three. But this morning, there were only three. The green one was gone. I noticed that too. Was the missing Exosol taken by this third party? <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? The identity of the third party. The Electro Hammer gives us the clue. I saw four exos at the scene yesterday when I went up with, or when I went to meet up with Kaido. This morning when we were trying to get to the hangar, there were only three. The culprit must have used the electro hammer between yesterday afternoon and this morning. There's only one person among us who I could think to do or who, that I think could do that.
It's you. Yep. Maki, you're the third party we're looking for, aren't you? What? It's Maki? What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. But be careful, the Electro Hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So I'll fuse it on an Exosol, it'll run out of juice with one shot, got it? The Electro Hammer needs to be recharged for 24 hours after it runs out of battery. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning, Monkey, where's your electro hammer? I don't need it. I'd rather not use it as a weapon. I, I'd, I'd rather not use a weapon I am unfamiliar with. Yup, exactly. This is so much better. A knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Monkey was the only one without an electro hammer, wasn't she? Yup, a doo. Knowing that, the electro hammer I found could only have belonged to Maki. And that leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. She's also the only other person in this group that would know how to use the crossbow other than Suichi. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab. Disabled the Exosaw with an electro hammer and infiltrated the hangar. Now we just have to figure out what happened after. I'll kill your logic. Why are you doing this? What? Why are you getting in my way? Getting in your way? Maki, what are you. Yes, I'm the third party. Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an exosol, and then shooting the crossbow. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit! You're right. I used the electro hammer, and I used the exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. It's no use. She's not listening to me at all. But I can't back down here. You're right. Your weapon. I am not doing right. great here. I used the electro hammer. And I used the exosol to enter the hangar too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. The crossbow is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots. Oh no! Oh, that's the first time I've ever. I used the electro hammer. And I used the exosol to enter the hangar, too. I also shot the crossbow there. However, I am not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. The crossbow is not the murder weapon? What do you mean? The arrows left holes in the clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. I don't want to think Maki's the culprit. I want to believe her. But why is she scrambling to defend the herself? arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. 
An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. You've never used a weapon before. How would you know? It's laughable to think that a wound that shallow could be fatal. Damn it! The arrows left holes in their clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. I'll okay, so it was a, it was what I was initially thinking. Okay. But I just didn't want to I used to want to face the truth on that. It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit if it were poisoned. The poison? I noticed something about the poison in my lab during the investigation. There was just a little less in the bottle than before. If that poison had been applied to those arrows, they would have been lethal no matter where they connected. Maki, do you have a rebuttal? What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you... Really the culprit? Th there's no way she is! Cause... Why would she kill Kaito? Uh, I can't understand if you don't explain anything! Maki is still fighting. Huh? Fighting? Do you remember that Maki said she would do anything to defeat Kokichi? Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. Then when Maki said she would sacrifice anything, she meant... The sacrifice that Maki is talking about must be... All of us. That's it! She plans to sacrifice all of our lives in order to kill Kokichi. Sacrifice us? Then by hiding the truth, Maki was trying to get us to arrive at the wrong answer. Just to kill Kokichi and the rest of us along with him? But doesn't that mean that Maki's the culprit? She knew what happened and tried to hide it from us. But that mischievous plan was ruined, all thanks to Shuichi here. Too bad, Maki. I already predicted this would happen. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now. But this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. Oh. Huh? What do you mean? Does this mean you're gonna vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? W what did you say? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So Kaito said that to you. Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? Yeah, when I went to see him yesterday. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Shuichi, you're so persistent. Were you always like that? Uh, you think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. That guy could be pretty stubborn. Then... What really happened? Maki, please tell us. Please! And so, Maki began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock. 
Don't just start narrating things. You're ruining the mood. <laughs> Thank you, Himiko. I was about to say, are you f kidding me? Like, no. We have to have this. Well, I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. What? Oh, intermission. Okay. I was like, hello? What the hell? Huh? Uh, uh. We can't end the chapter here. I, I thought they were about to do that. I thought they were literally about to I thought they were literally about to end the chapter and do this whole like you won't get to know this late until later. Future forward. I'm like, ah no, we can't future forward. Anyway, hopefully you'll we'll have a wonderful day. What a crazy start to this class trial this was. We definitely really started strong. And we're still doing okay. I think we're going to die in the second half of this trial. If we somehow don't, I'll be proud of myself. But I doubt it. I am pressing F to doubt my survival. But anyway, love you guys so much. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!